Now from planes to trains and to give us an update on yet another transformative infrastructure project for Western Sydney, that is Metro Rail. Please welcome Sydney Metro Chief Executive Peter Regan. Okay, well good afternoon everyone. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here and very exciting to hear uh, what we're expecting in the next five years. I'm going to give you a bit of an update um, from Sydney Metro, what you can be expecting to see in the next five to ten years. Uh, but I think just before I do, I, I thought, and although we don't have a lot of time today, it is interesting to note that Sydney Metro and the journey that it's on uh, started in about 2011, and so we're ten years in, and I've got about another ten years um, of progress to talk to you about today. So without dwelling on the past, I thought we'd just cut it short, and I've got a little video to show you what we've been up to. Okay, so here we go. Metro Northwest already open, been running now for just over two and a half years. We have Metro City and Southwest coming in under the Sydney CBD, and then we're coming to the west. We have the Metro WSA line for the West City Airport, and we have Metro West itself between Westmead, Parramatta, and the city. So, what are you going to get when you have Metro all through Sydney? What you get is a completely different train experience and a completely different customer experience. What we're finding on the Northwest Metro, uh, where we've already had around 37 million people take journeys over the last two and a half years, you get a train every three or four minutes, every four minutes in the peak, um, you get a fast, reliable service, it's easy to get on and off, it's safe, it's accessible. And our customers absolutely love the fact that actually it operates, it's automated, uh, and it gives them a very, very reliable journey. In fact, 98% customer satisfaction, and we're very, very proud of that. Uh, there's only one mode of transport in Sydney that sometimes gets higher than 98%, and that's the ferry service. But I always think, well, people who are sitting on the ferry travelling are pretty relaxed anyway, so if we can get to 98% on a train, we're doing pretty well. And so what we're trying to bring is a world-class train service right throughout Sydney and out to Western Sydney. But it's not just about trains and infrastructure. What Metro brings is the opportunity to deliver really fabulous and tailored placemaking. And I say tailored because actually the lines that we're building go through very different parts of the built up city and of the yet to be built city. So in some cases we're actually anchoring and providing the opportunity to build new communities, places like Ludnam um, on the Western Sydney Airport line, vibrant new communities that are centred around a metro station with a a public precinct, a commercial precinct, residential and commercial activity. 
In other cases, we're coming in and retrofitting transport to places that haven't had transport and have really needed transport. Castle Hill in the northwest is a great example where the metro station there has led to an absolute revitalisation and rejuvenation, not just of what is around Castle itself, the shopping precinct, the actual town centre itself, but very, very significant residential and commercial development. Can also be an opportunity to change uh, an area as well. At Waterloo, where we've got a mixed use station, residential, commercial, and social housing project, where actually we're bringing together a significant regeneration of an area that was quite run down, but providing very significant employment uh, opportunities and residential opportunities at different price points for different people. And then in the big CBDs, we have the opportunity to really leave a lasting impact in the cities. Our overstation developments and our inter integrated station developments um, on the City and South West project, including Martin Place in City CBD, Victoria Cross in North Sydney, and now going forward, um, major developments at Hunter Street in the city uh, to service the Metro West line, but incredibly powerful opportunities um, at Olympic Park, at Parramatta, at Westmead, and um, out at the Aerotropolis. Today, though, I really want to focus on what we're doing here in Western Sydney. And we've just had uh, a lot of uh, discussion during the day around the importance of working in a very open way and collaborating um, amongst contractors, collaborating with public and private sector. But it's also really important that we collaborate with the community. So for Metro, being um, open and upfront, explaining what we're doing, why we're doing it, and when we're doing it is absolutely important. And trying to deliver um, with a personal touch and to actually understand what people need when we are impacting their communities and what we're doing uh, for hopefully improving their transport opportunities. So the Western Sydney Airport line is absolutely key, um, not just to uh, the Aerotropolis and the airport itself, but to provide that north-south public transport spine for the future. And we're pleased that actually what we're doing at the moment um, is designed to be the first stage of a more significant north-south line uh, that will connect both the Aerotropolis city and the airport to St Mary's and hopefully in the future further north and further south. And we're designing it to be extended and that's really important with infrastructure that actually we can't build all of it in one go but we can build it in a way that allows us to plug additional bits in in the future uh, without disrupting the operations of what's already there. The key thing is uh, that the, the project and the way it is built can service multiple purposes. Yes, it will help people get to and from the airport, help workers move around but actually it will also allow those mixed use precincts, residential activity, commercial activity, and become a real draw card for people to be moving around um, in Western Sydney. So it's a very key project for us, jointly funded by the state and federal government, um, generating around 14,000 jobs um, directly during construction um, with lots of apprentices, apprenticeships and opportunities for local workers. I mentioned those precincts, just a little snapshot there. We've got six key uh, stations that we're working um, through at the moment, two of those in the airport, one in the Aerotropolis, and then three to the north. And each of those will be different, each of those bring different opportunities, but each of them give the opportunity to create a, a fabulous place and an activated precinct around our transport. And importantly, this is not just a, a pipe dream, this is not just something that we're thinking about doing in the future. Um, we're already underway, we're doing our advanced works, our enabling works, and we're about to award the major contract for the tunnelling. Um, in the first quarter of next year, we'll award the contract for the surface works, for the viaducts. Uh, we've announced the shortlist and the, uh, we're in the request for proposal stage for the main operations contract, um, and that will be let by the end of next year. So in 12 months' time, uh, we expect the project will be fully procured uh, and working through to open in conjunction uh, with the airport. It's a very tight time frame, it's very ambitious, um, and it will come just a couple of years uh, after we open the city and southwest line through the uh, Sydney city out to Bankstown. Uh, which then brings us to um, the biggest of all our um, endeavours is the additional transport to come to the Central River City. The Metro West project, uh, which will be our fourth line, um, already fully funded by the government and committed, um, is the opportunity to double the rail capacity between Parramatta and the Sydney CBD. We'll be able to take over 40,000 people each hour um, in around 20 minutes between Parramatta and, and the city of Sydney. Importantly, here at Olympic Park as well, just 15 minutes from here into the Sydney CBD or just three or four minutes to Parramatta. So it was absolutely game changer for people along that route, um, an incredible opportunity um, for the long run and to completely change how people move between the central and the harbour city. As I said, it's our fourth line, uh, nine underground stations. The line is entirely underground. 
And again, we'll be operating that same service frequency of a train every four minutes um, and servicing in uh, from Westmead and Parramatta to here at Olympic Park. Um, really important interchanges with the Sydney Trains network at Westmead and North Strathfield. Um, some stations to pick up the, the residential and commercial um, opportunities around Burwood North and Five Dock. The Bays Precinct will be anchor, anchoring a new precinct for the state uh, there at the Bays Precinct and then connecting into Piermont and Hunter Street in the city. Absolutely game-changing for uh, this part of Sydney and for the way people move around. And again, so 10,000 direct jobs and over time, over 70,000 indirect jobs. Once again, though, it's not just the railway itself. The opportunity it brings in conjunction with our partners, working with the city of Parramatta, working with other organisations throughout Western Sydney, Parramatta itself is an incredible opportunity for a, a, a development around the station precinct that really is in tune with the development that's been happening in Parramatta and fits very much with the broader plans that the council has for that area and that we're very pleased to be part of uh, helping to make that happen. And you can see a picture there uh, of sort of the type of environment that we're trying to create around our stations to really have the station as a centrepiece of public space, public amenity, but then have really world-class facilities and commercial um, opportunities around it. Uh, like I did with Western Sydney Airport Line, a little snapshot there, our different stations, different precincts. You can see how quickly you'll be able to move from Parramatta to those other destinations. And with a train every four minutes, you won't be sort of standing there waiting for uh, the train to turn up for very long either. So it is really exciting. Um, and we're getting on with uh, West as well. We've started now the enabling works, um, getting ready with the utilities and moving um, sites out of the way. We're very, very close to finalising the new speedway. Unfortunately, uh, we did need to uh, acquire the, the site uh, the speedway facility was operating at Granville, but we're very, very proud. We have built a fabulous new facility out at Eastern Creek, and we're very, very close to finishing that and handing it over. And more on that soon, and that's certainly an, a massive improvement um, in terms of the quality of that facility. Uh, so we're getting underway, um, and there it is. There's a picture of the speedway, um, almost finished. It's come on a little bit since those photos were taken. Uh, we've been beavering away uh, during the lockdowns uh, to bring that facility uh, close to completion. Uh, and it's pretty exciting for my team. They thought they were building a railway, and some of them ended up building a racetrack, but uh, it is pretty exciting. Um, the main project itself, though, um, very, very complicated to build a railway of this, of this scale and complexity, but uh, we've been learning our lessons from what we've been doing on the way. Um, we've got a whole series of contracts for both the rail systems, the stations, the associated developments underway. Um, we have let the first tunnel contract um, in the middle of this year uh, to go from the bays um, here to Olympic Park. We're getting ready to launch the second one, uh, which starts here and goes to Westmead, and we're now procuring the third one, which then goes into the Sydney City. So I mentioned um, Parramatta, and I just sort of flash up on the screen there the context for how important it is for when we're building a metro to fit within the broader city and to fit within the plans that other parties, uh, be it the council, other levels of government and other development opportunities. And what this does is allow us to open up uh, a north-south civic link and so that actually you will be able to walk from the existing Parramatta train station through you know, a purpose-built uh, pathway through the different developments that are there, the metro station precinct, the Sydney light, the Parramatta light rail, sorry, um, and all the way up to the river uh, with the development that's going on there. Uh, so it's a great opportunity um, and you don't get that opportunity very often because it is difficult to insert this kind of infrastructure into existing city, uh, but certainly when we do, we want to make sure that we leave a really fabulous legacy. Um, and I think it would be sort of, uh, sort of wrong of me to not also focus on where we are today. Uh, Olympic Park, uh, although it's been a significant um, site and with lots of success along the way here, the opportunity to really um, provide rapid and reliable transport to Sydney Olympic Park all day, every day, and not just in an event mode, um, is really exciting. And we think it will uh, offer a very significant opportunity for people who are interested in living or working and developing um, opportunities around this precinct. It certainly will uh, be a pretty worthwhile uh, investment when you think about how quickly you'll be able to get to and from uh, the facilities in an event mode, but then for other activities that will be here as well. It's very, very different to what we're doing, say, in Parramatta, uh, but equally as important. So I think it, it gives us the opportunity, once you have this kind of high-quality transport, um, to really reinforce the, uh, and to go alongside the very high-quality sporting facilities and the people who come and visit here every year. Uh, so we'll have opportunities then to aggregate and interchange between different forms of transport, 
um, and certainly sort of drive the overall development. Uh, I mentioned contracts are underway, so I won't dwell on that. Uh, certainly we're expecting uh, over the next few years, it takes, uh, will take us another few years to let all of these contracts for Metro West, uh, but we're well underway and we expect we'll have commenced the tunnelling um, in um, actual construction by next year. Finally, uh, it's wonderful to invest in transport, it's wonderful to create great places, but what's even more exciting for us is the legacy that we can leave in terms of the skills, uh, the opportunity for people to, to get jobs, to learn new skills, to train people, to train people uh, in things they may not have otherwise got the opportunity to do because they can get excited about what they're getting to work on, about changing the city. Um, and we're doing that at multiple levels. We're not just targeting people out of university or at high school. We're actually running programs um, with children um, even into preschool uh, to get them excited about Sydney Metro. I have a five and a half year old son who's very, very excited about Sydney Metro. He designs his own lines. Um, he's even got a new train which he wants to bring to Western Sydney that has rockets on the side of it. Um, I'm trying to see whether the engineers can fit it in the tunnel. We're working on it. But it is amazing to see how kids get excited about, uh, about railways and about trains um, that are actually automated and drive themselves. Um, and I think sort of that kind of opportunity is one that actually allows us to get people excited and hopefully to encourage different people to get involved, um, encourage women to become engineers, encourage people to learn skills that allows them to work on projects um, where there is an opportunity to contribute in such a different way um, to the city, um, but also to their own, uh, their own future endeavours. So I hope that gives you a bit of a, um, a sense of what we've been doing and what we're up to. Very much looking forward to um, continuing to provide updates more broadly as we really get into gear in bringing Metro to Western Sydney. Thank you very much. <laughs>